when we deploy Cisco Eyes, we often use it for two things. One might be as a NAC or network access control because we want to authenticate the users and devices that connect on the network by leveraging Radius or 802.1x authentication protocol. Or another option might be to authenticate the network admins that log on to these network devices, the routers, switches, firewalls. And we want to take advantage of the TACAX protocol that it's inside on Cisco Eyes. Now, the question is, how do we apply those same policies on Cisco Eyes itself? Meaning, if we are managing Cisco Eyes, we don't want to be relying on the local accounts on Cisco Eyes itself. So we have to follow the same policies, the same requirements that we are deploying on the network, meaning we want to be able to uh, use a central authentication even to manage Cisco Eyes. And that's what we're going to see in this video. I'm going to show you how to enable Active Directory login on Cisco Eyes. Now, there are a couple of things that we won't cover in this video, such as how to deploy Cisco Eyes, how to configure it, how to deploy Windows Server, how to enable Active Directory, promote as a domain server, DNS, NTP, and how to integrate Cisco Eyes with this Active Directory. Now, if you want to learn how to do those things, you can watch some of the lessons available on my Cisco Eyes course. And I'm going to share the link to this course in the video description. With that being said, we're just going to focus on how to enable this Active Directory login on Cisco Eyes. So, Let's begin. Okay, we'll be using the latest version of Cisco Eyes, and at the time of this recording, that is version 3.4. Just take note of this because if you try to replicate these steps, it might be different if you try it on a different version of Cisco Eyes. So I'm just going to log in as a regular network admin. Okay, let's confirm what we have configured so far on Cisco Eyes. So if we go to administration, uh, identity management, external identity sources that's where we should have the active directory or the windows server uh, connected to cisco i so in this case this is my 80 so corporate 80 and this is my windows server and right now i don't have any group so which means that i'm not fetching any group that is inside the active directory now, so now let's take a look at the Active Directory and we're going to use one of the groups to be used for the network admins that try to log into Cisco Eyes. Okay, this is my Windows server. So let's take a look at the domain users. So I created two users. I have Silesio Carvalho and I have Carvalho Silesio. So now we're going to create one user group and we're going to uh, associate one of the users to this group. So let's just click on new group and let's call this as eyes uh, admins. So click OK. So now let's go to eyes admins members and we want to add only Silesio Carvalho to this group. So that's Silesio.Carvalho. Check names. Okay, found it. Okay, so we have Silesio Carvalho as a member of this ICE admins group, which means if we try to use Carvalho Silesio, it won't be allowed because we only be using, we're going to reference this group on Cisco ICE. So now let's go back to Cisco ICE and try to fetch this new group. Okay, so here on Cisco Eyes, so now let's try to add this new group and we're going to select groups from directory and we want to retrieve all the groups available. So we should be able to find the new group just created. So it should be uh, Eyes Admins. So we can see here Eyes Admins. So I'm just going to select this one and click OK and we're going to save this. So we just fetch or we're going to use only the users that are part of this group. So this is done. Okay, so next we're going to enable the Active Directory login on Cisco Eyes. And to do that, we should go to Administration, Admin Access, 
and here on authentication method admin portal we want to change the password based identity source from internal to the active directory so we're just going to select the active directory and we're going to scroll down and save this change next we're going to create uh the a new user group so by going to admin groups and here we're going to add a new admin group and let's just call this as ad admin group and we're going to enable this box type external and here on external groups we're going to select the ice admins group and we're going to submit this uh, new group creation so next we're going to authorization uh role based access policy and here we're going to add a new policy so we're going to select here on actions and we're going to insert a new policy and we're just going to change the name to uh, ad admin uh, group policy now as for admin groups uh let's go and select the item so we're going to scroll to the new ad admin group we just created okay as for permissions uh, we want to select a uh, super admin menu access and the next is going to be a uh, super admin data access now we're going to save these changes and that should be enough okay so now if we log out okay and now we have this new option editing so identity source when we try to log in on cisco eyes and we can still use the internal identity source we just have to select here internal and log in as the admin so now let's try to log in as carvalho.celesio first so carvalho dot Celesio. and i'm going to type the password so it looks like it failed that's what we want so now let's try to log in as Celesio dot carvalho and it should work okay so okay and it looks like it was successful so let's wait a couple of seconds so it's still loading okay and it was successful so we are able to log into cisco eyes or to manage cisco eyes by using the account on the active directory so we can also confirm whether this is um working the way it is supposed to by looking at the logs so in case we want to also audit which admins did the login and which change they did we can go to operations and here on reports so let's go to reports audit and administrative logins and you should be able to see which admins did the login and from which ip addresses and also uh we have the username we have the event and the event details and that's very helpful in case we want to track we want to audit which admins are making changes on the system and that's how we enable active directory login on cisco i so if you took value from this video don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you on the next one